In this lesson, we're going to be talking about getting started up with Metasploit. So I've actually got a copy of Metasploit Pro here, and the company Rapid7 makes Metasploit as well as Nexpose. And Rapid7 not only has the more advanced versions with additional features like the Pro version here, they also have community versions as well. You can get started with Metasploit or Nexpose and get slightly less features, but still have the ability to do some pretty powerful things. I'm getting into the web interface here. I just want to show you quickly around the web interface. And then I'm going to go do the command line version, and we're going to do some work inside the command line version. Here's Metasploit Pro. And you can see I've got the ability to do lookups on hosts and provide notes. Take a look at the services that we've got. We can start up a new project, for example. And I could have a project name of, and I'm going to use the network range here. And now I can just go create that project. Now I've got a project, and we could actually do some things like some scanning, for example. And once we had some hosts, we could do some other things. What I want to do, though, is I actually want to run the console. And I'm going to get into the console, and we're going to be doing a lot of work inside the console with command line. It's not that I couldn't use the web interface to do what we're going to do. It's I'm a little more comfortable with the command line. It's just what I prefer. Certainly, you can use the web interface to do what we're going to be doing. It's pretty easy to use. There are some cases where we might actually use the web interface going forward, but right now what I want to do is just get started in the console version. What I actually want to do is I actually want to create a workspace. And it looks like the project we created through the web interface has been built into a workspace here for us. We're going to actually make use of that workspace. Now I'm in that workspace. Now there's a number of different things that I could do to get started here. What I want to do is do a little bit of scanning and show you how to do some Nmap scans from Metasploit as well as some service-based scans. And we'll do that coming up in the next couple of lessons.